authors and grandmother granddaughter duo Amelie Suskin Liu and Leslie LeWinter Suskin hope to inspire multicultural children to feel pride and excitement in their cultures with their children's book Matzo Ball Wonton Thanksgiving. Amelie and Leslie join us now with more ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having we us. were talking in the break. What a wonderful time you guys had to spend some quality time together. Amelie, talk about starting this project, why you started it with your grandmother. Yeah, so the children's book kind of stems from my own internal conflict of my Chinese and Jewish culture. And after I lost my father when I was seven, I really lost the only person who looked like me, um, which created a lot of conflict in my head. And I felt really Jewish, but I looked Chinese on the outside. Um, and so I wanted to write a book um, in the context of Thanksgiving, this really quintessentially American holiday. And the, my family's favorite holiday. Was yeah. this actually based on an experience you had or was it something that you just kind of went over and over in your head? Because, you know, as a kid, you, you kind of make things up yeah. in your head and it's kind of an imaginary situation. It was an imaginary situation. It's definitely based on just the conflict, but we wanted to make it enjoyable for seven-year-olds and six-year-olds. So um, we do have matzo ball wonton soup at Thanksgiving, though. Okay, okay. all right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and listen, this is very unique to be able to spend this much quality time. I know you guys did this during the pandemic. Pandemic. Uh, did she approach you about the book, or was it your idea? Uh, I think it was. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think perhaps it was your idea, and uh, and something that appealed to me yeah. a lot. So, are, are you a writer? By nature, because uh, I'm by like, you're nature, by nature, by nature. But how about by profession? <laughs> uh, profession, I'm multicultural. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So, because uh, I believe you are a teenager, you're a senior in uh, high school here. Yeah. So, is this something you had dreamed of doing, or how did it come to fresh? Come to fruition. Yeah, well, before this, I'd written a couple of op-eds about uh, multiculturalism and the uh -huh. importance of it. Um, but I was kind of inspired by my bubby. She, she's written plays, she's written poems. She inspired me to write a children's book. And so we wanted to take on like a new project okay. together. Okay, that's oh, yeah. really cool. <laughs> Fantastic. What do you guys want people to take away from having a multicultural family? Because a lot of people don't, and they don't get to experience that. It, to me, it sounds wonderful that you get to experience so many unique things. Well, I think, Am I allowed to answer? <laughs> I think we have one life, and it's enhanced by multiculturalism. I think that if you only taste one kind of food, mm -hmm. you only see one kind of people, and you reach my age, you say, uh, why did I waste all that time? When you're multicultural, you get to taste and talk and see whole worlds, and mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I, I read when you do read to groups, instead of getting people asking you questions about your book, you get more people commenting about their experiences. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think I learned a lot from reading to children because, yeah, when you would ask a question, instead of asking, you know, how did you write this book? What inspired you? It was, um, you know, my mom is Chinese or my, my dad is Jewish. And so I think I learned that people want to ask questions, but they really just want to be heard. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I like that you're also about wanting to ask questions. I lived overseas for a while, and people had so many interesting questions for me, just not understanding our culture. So mm. it, it must be great for you to be able to share so many different things. Yeah, I'm, I, I think, um, it's nice to share my story, but I think having like an impact on other multicultural children is, has been, I think, formative and amazing. Can you guys give us a quick synopsis of the book for people at home that might want to go out and, and get it? Just give us a quick, you know, story It's line. about, and really you have to answer it, but it's really about a child wondering whether she could deviate from what is the expected norm for Thanksgiving mm. and then realizing not only could she deviate, but she could enhance it mm -hmm. for herself and for all the people who are going to be at the table. Yeah. yeah. It's about a seven year old Amelie on her on her way to ruin Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out to probably be the best one she's had Lovely. ever, right? At yeah. seven years old, so many more to come. What's new for you what's next for you guys? You guys gonna do a Christmas one or uh, <laughs> we've talked a lot. Um, we don't necessarily know, but we were thinking about a Christmas. What else were we thinking about? A, a combination of Christmas Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. yes. that's cool. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Really, that incorporates everybody in our family. Mm -hmm. And um, when we decide, or if you decide first, let us know. Okay. Oh, we'll let you know. <laughs> and you guys really do have matzo ball wonton soup at Thanksgiving. Last mm -hmm. night, we actually, it was delicious. Oh, yes. that sounds fantastic. And, and if I can just add that I think most people live in one inch of the world, mm -hmm. and they think it's the world, mm -hmm. 
but not Amelie, not I, not you. Yeah. Not, we know that this is a multicultural, multi culinary world yeah. and the best part of it is tasting 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 and you know for people at home we wanted to get you all on sooner but somebody was in the antarctic oh, hanging out with yeah. the penguins <laughs> they asked me to come yeah. and, and and they said would you write a book with us okay and i said yes first i have to learn penguinese uh and then yes <laughs> <laughs> so cool. 83 i don't mean to tell your age but i have to 83 years old you and your husband world. 85 traveling in Antarctica yes. well, so cool. your inspiration the book is an inspiration you living is an inspiration thank you guys for coming on and sharing with us we have the information follow at matzo ball wonton on Instagram best of luck to you thank all you thank you so much thank you, so much. Thank you.